So when I first met Lauren, I knew that she possessed almost all the qualities that balance Rory out perfectly. I must have said this five years ago, for real. You better marry this girl because she's a definition of a keeper, dude. Well, I'm glad you made it happen, man. Smart move. <laughs> Lauren is incredible, and so are you. Together, you two both have something really special. It's clear that you have each other's back through thick and thin, and you will need to always maintain that. Life isn't easy. In fact, it's usually difficult. But having someone by your side who is 100% in it with you makes it seem like a dream. So with that being said, I couldn't be happier for you guys, for both of you. I love you, and I'm always here for you, no matter what you need. I only have eyes for you. Happy wedding day. Love you the most. Bye. <laughs> a potato. And then there's a picture of us uh, going Lady and the Tramp on a hot dog. <laughs> it is truly a blessing to find someone to share your life that really lets you be yourself. You make a wonderful couple and you are such great parents to Veda and Kira. I can't wait to see what your future holds. Cheers to Lauren and Rory. <laughs> what if you can do that? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dear Rory, I will keep this short. I know who you really want to hear from. Haha. -ha. I can't wait to marry you and continue the love that we have for each other. I'll see you up there. Love you the most. Lauren Coyce. Dear Lauren and Rory, I am writing to congratulate you on this very special occasion. I'm sure it will be a long and happy marriage. And on behalf of everyone here at Tottenham Hotspur, I should like to wish you both the very best in your future together. And remember in life, just like in football, a little teamwork can get you some great results. Kind regards, Mauricio Pochettino. That's <laughs> fucking wild. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> this girl's something else. <laughs> I think I might. And it's been a pleasure to watch these two develop their relationship over the last years. And the other thing that I have also learned is, is my little girl is no longer a little girl. My little girl is a beautiful, young, independent woman who is filled with grace and poise and a good side of humor. And I couldn't love her anymore if I possibly I'd like to thank each and every one of you uh, for being here in this special day. But I'd also like to remember with love those who are no longer with us that can't be here on this day. They're certainly always in our hearts.
lovingly gives Lauren's hand in marriage today? Lauren's mother and I do. I've had the pleasure of meeting most of you, but for those who I have not met, um, my name is Brian Manji, and it's my incredible honor to officiate this wedding today between Roran and Lori. <laughs> There's an over and under, and how many times I do that today? Rory and Lauren. Do you feel special today? I know I do. Um, and you should, because each one of you was chosen, hand chosen, because of the special role you played in the foundation of Rory or Lauren's life or in their foundation of their, their life and their love together. Um, you're, be, you're here because you love them, but remember that you're here because they love you. And that's what this day is totally about. Um, but our bond doesn't end here, as our obligation really is to, to love and support this couple, not only to, for today, but forever on their journey through their lives. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting the way I met Lauren and Rory together is it was on our patio at our house, Bonnie and I. Um, we throw some parties at that house. Many of you have been there and we throw some great parties at that house. So when we first met them, um, Lauren, those of you that know Lauren, um, she's warm and very sincere and she's funny. Um, she loves soft pretzels and laughs at my jokes, even if they're not funny. So it's hard not to love Lauren, right? Um, but she's a little quiet, a little non-assertive kind of. And then there's Rory, who's a little more like I am, kind of a little bit out there with a strong personality and, and kind of, I can, what else can I say? He's a little more like a kind of a porcupine, you know? You have to, you gotta get through some of those quills to you understand the heart that really is in this man. When they left, I looked at Bonnie and I said, this is gonna be interesting because they seemed so very different to me and so very, very different to us. Um, but as time went by and more, many more parties ensued, we got to see the change in the two of them where we got to see Lauren's kind of strength come out and the way she was able to assert herself without really threatening Rory's personality, which would never have worked. Rory bent very much to Lauren and his concern was really how they can bond together. I don't know if they really actually knew that that change was happening, but it was very obvious to us. I don't think they did it. There was nothing over obligation or that's what they're supposed to do. Those changes happen because of their commitment to each other and their commitment to that relationship. And that's what made this very special. There have been countless millions of marriages from the beginning of time. Each one with a new promise of a new day and a fresh beginning. Um, dreams, new goals. This is not one of those countless millions because this is Lauren and Rory's and none will be like this and none will be like this in the future. This is strictly theirs. None has come before this and none will come after this of these two people. It makes it completely special for us. Now that you're holding hands, which is great. All sweaty and nervous. Yeah. Very nice. I should have brought the hand sweat towel for this. <laughs> Understand you're holding the hands of your best friend. They're both strong, they're both loving. The hands you hold today represent the promise of love for today, for tomorrow, and for forever. They're the hands that will work alongside each other to build a future together. They're the hands that will comfort like no other. They're the hands that will hold on to you when fear comes your way. They'll wipe the tears from your eyes, whether tears of sorrow or tears of joy. They're the hands that will lovingly hold your children, along with Bonnie's. They're the hands that will give you support and encouragement. They're the hands that will hold you tight in difficult times. They're the hands that will give you strength when needed. And they're the hands that will lift your face to look into the eyes filled with overwhelming love. Lastly, they're the hands that, even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for each other's. Lauren, from this day onward, do you choose Rory to be your friend and only love, 
to live together, play together, laugh together, to fill his heart and fill his soul, to always seek out the best in him. Love him with all your heart until the end of your forever. I do. <laughs> Rory, from this day onward, do you choose Lauren to be your friend and your only love? To live together, to play together, obviously laugh together, <laughs> to fill her heart and feed her soul, to always seek out the best in her, to love her until your heart, uh, with your full heart until the end of your forever. I absolutely do. <laughs> Please declare your vows to each other, Rory. Lauren, I know that there have been many occasions through the years where you may have thought that this day would never come. <laughs> but ever since our very first vacation together, after a full day of dancing and partying, we sat across from each other trying to eat something for the first time in a long time. <laughs> and you fell asleep sitting up with a half-eaten sausage and mustard dripping down your shirt. <laughs> and it was in that moment that I knew that I would spend the rest of my life with you. That was the moment where you became my best friend. Um, and though our life together starts today, as it was many years before, <laughs> um, I aim to keep a friend in love. So all I want to do is grow old with you. Lauren, I promise to love you always and forever. I would rather spend one lifetime in this world with you than face all the ages of the world without you. You are my soup snake, <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> Rory, since the minute, <laughs> since the minute <laughs> you walked into Salem's, my first impression was, wow, this, this guy's funny. <laughs> and you've been making me laugh ever since, even when as soon as you annoy me, you say, you laugh so you can't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're my favorite travel partner, which we, you already talked about, but on our four day music festival, you set up a tent and an air mattress, and I knew from that weekend that you were always gonna make me comfortable <laughs> and take care of me. You encouraged me to want better things for myself and confidence to do things I have doubts about. I love that you reassure me that everything's gonna be fine and that, uh, Sometimes I'm just acting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to listen to you, all of your long stories, <laughs> random facts, and your Spurs stats. <laughs> I can't count the number of times you told me to go left and I immediately went right. <laughs> I literally lost a map at our scavenger hunt. <laughs> but I know... <laughs> But even though we have opposite opinions on a lot of things, we always walk in the same direction together. Um, <clears throat> to quote the great Mauricio Pochettino in his wedding letter to us, and remember in life, just like football, a little teamwork can get you some great results. We started on a team at random, and now we're choosing to go through life together. I vow to support you, lift you up, and continue to be your biggest fan. I love you the most. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Like hanging up a phone. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. You know, people talk about wedding rings being the perfect symbol of love and a perfect round ring, but they don't really start that way. They start from very humble beginnings, from raw materials. And it's really only through passion and commitment. Um, that they really become the symbol of love and of relationship. And throughout your lives, these rings may become a little scratched and they become a little tarnished at times, but will remain pure and perfect as will your bond together. Rory, will you take Lauren's ring and repeat after me? Lauren, I give you this ring as a commitment to us. It represents all that I was, all that I am, and all that I will ever be. <laughs> Let's work on that. <laughs> Lauren, I give you this ring as a commitment to us. It represents all that I was, all that I am, and all that I will ever be. Rory, I give you this ring as a commitment to us. It represents all that I was. It represents all that I was. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will ever be. And all be. that I will ever be. Slip it on. Your shoes. 
should. <laughs> On behalf of our friends here today, and by the strength of your love, I pronounce you husband and wife. Please seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> It is with great honor in all my heart, I'd like to introduce you to Roran Pusateri. I have to say I was a bit surprised when Rory asked me to be his best man. Being the middle child, he has two excellent candidates right in his family. But I knew that he didn't want to cause a fight between Ryan and Rob. And you know, I remembered also, we spent some time in public speaking class together at Buff State. And he was probably so captivated by the speeches about my grandma and my first pet that he knew I was the right man for the job. But enough about me. How lucky is Rory to found a woman as wonderful as Lauren? Doesn't she look beautiful tonight? Surprisingly, I don't have that much to say about Rory. Um, and not because there's not any good stories, but because we have so many similarities. And I don't like talking about myself. But here it goes. <laughs> Rory is a tall, bald, handsome devil.